local law enforcement are facing new challenges ahead of Mardi Gras parades. They're trying to figure out just how to keep you safe with a short staff. Our Anam Siddiqui looked into that today and she joins us live now. Anam, what kind of plans are actually in place? Kellyanne and Tavarius, Louisiana State Police and local agencies are putting in extra hours. And to have enough boots on the ground, multiple agencies will be across the state helping each other. Are there enough police officers for safe Mardi Gras? My belief is yes. The city of Gonzales is hosting their first ever Mardi Gras parade this year. Police Chief Sherman Jackson says they're trying to let the good times roll, even with a 10% vacancy. We unified with, uh, like, the uh, Central Parish Sheriff's Office, uh, St. Gabriel Police Department. We were able to fill the gaps with other agencies. Chief Jackson says it's all hands on deck. At this point, uh, we have everybody that's going to be working. If you work here and, and if you're in patrol or uh, special investigations or anything like that, on Saturday, they're going to be out on the street. Every carnival season, Louisiana state troopers spread out to parishes across the state. But due to their own staffing shortages, fewer troopers will be able to help this year. We're going to send over 100 troopers from out the entirety of our state. Also, our mobile field force, SWAT elements, and other patrol units will be in the New Orleans area. Scrants and Jackson say it's going to take both parade goers and law enforcement to have a safe carnival. When you say parades to law enforcement, uh, we always get nervous. You go out there and you see kids having a good time and, and, and families together and, and there's no, um, no animosity or, or no harm being done, then uh, it makes us proud. And there are some changes to Gonzalez parades. In December, a man in the Gonzalez Christmas parade hit his head on a tree while on a float. He later died from his injuries. Now, all floats have to be highway standard. The chief is making sure all the floats meet the height requirement before the parade rolls. Anam Siddiqui, Fox 44 News. All right, thank you so much, Anam.